So I hope you are fine. I'm Natasha and welcome back. So today we're going to continue our same chapter and that is chapter 1 and sets. Okay, so we were on our introduction, you know, we just completed the introduction and in today's video we're going to, you know, discuss about the types of sets like empty set, finite set and infinite set. Got it? So let's get started. So first we're going to talk about the empty set. So let me tell you that empty set is two uh, names, you know, it has, yeah, two another name, two other names and that are, you know, and that are uh, null set and void set, okay? So we can say the empty sets as null set or void set, okay? That's your choice, okay? It doesn't matter at all. Okay, so what is, so, you know, why do we use empty set? Actually, you know, we don't use empty sets. They're actually like, uh... We're just gonna we're just gonna discuss about that. What are empty sets? That's it. Okay, and we're gonna take examples so that we can understand it clearly. Okay, so okay, so first types of set we're gonna cover. So yeah, let me just write the heading. You know, the main heading is gonna be types of sets. So let me just write it. Types of sets. Yeah, it is types of sets. Okay, so first it's gonna be the empty set the empty set empty set yeah you can even guess it by its name the set which is empty you can say that which is empty so let me tell you that yeah it's similar like that it's similar like that if you've guessed that the if you guess that uh, same thing that yeah it means that you're almost right but not at all okay so uh, let me tell you empty set are those sets which doesn't contain any element okay so empty sets are those sets uh, which doesn't contain any element so this means that they'll they'll not have any elements in so question would be like how we can represent empty sets so we can represent the empty sets by you know just uh, how we can represent it so we can represent it by you know uh, you know just putting braces and writing or writing nothing or we can or we can just you know use for okay Phi is like, is a Greek symbol which is used in empty set. Got it? So we can write, you can write it like this form or this form. That's it. Okay, so, yeah, that's it. Okay, so empty set. So empty sets, let's write the definition also so that we can remember it. Okay, a small statement. This, uh, it is, it is the set. Oh, I'm going to write it like in another way, okay? That's going to be... A little bit more smaller for us to remember and you know just keep it in our mind keep it in our mind okay so uh, the set the set which which doesn't the set which doesn't contain any element the set the set which doesn't contain any element or we can you just write a set okay Yeah, I'm going to make it more smaller. So I'm going to only write sets. It's a little bit, actually the marker is like a little bit lighter. So, but I can still write it. You know, I can still use it. Okay, so sets are, so uh, the set, set switch. Yeah, so this is going to be okay. So set switch doesn't contain any element. Any element is called empty sets and it has two other names and that are so we can say it's called empty set or or null set null set or void set that's it void set okay okay so this was actually small definition for the empty sets now let's take an example so for example yeah, uh, for example, oops, ah, never mind. Yeah, so for example, let's take an easy example so that we can, you know, get that, get it. So let's say that let, let's set A is equals to the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, have a look. So let the set A is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
okay so but uh so i think that i'm gonna write it like uh, so yeah remember that this is in roaster form okay but but i'm gonna take i'm gonna write it in a set builder form that will be that will be more great for us so that we can also solve those questions it is kind of like set builder form you know yeah no mind okay whatever so eight equals to what so x such that x such that x is yeah i'm gonna say that such that yeah i'm gonna say such that x belongs to natural number and uh, one is smaller than x and x is um yeah x is uh, smaller than two okay that's it okay so i've i've like write it in an easy way so x belongs to natural number and one is so x is actually uh, greater than one but two is you know x is smaller than two so what do we have to write we have to find we have to write uh, the elements from this part which is given right here okay it's a natural number okay we get it so how are we gonna write it so let's see so between so it's saying that it's less than sorry it's less oh you know it's uh, greater than one okay x is greater than one but x is smaller than two and there aren't any numbers between one and two so we can say that no numbers okay no numbers no numbers so you Yes, we can say that in 1 and 2, you know, between 1 and 2, there are no numbers. So, this means that this set is going to be our empty set. You know, this is the easiest example I've taken. Uh, you know, this is the easiest example I take. So, uh, so what I'm going to say that is set A is equals to this, okay? No elements at all, okay? Or we can just use a phi, okay? Greek symbol, which is used in empty sets. Greek symbol okay yeah so this is how you can see through this example that empty sets so you know through this example we can understand the empty sets clearly okay so i hope it is clear to you and uh now let's move on to our second uh second types of sets second types of sets okay types of sets okay so second one is going to be the finite set finite set okay Infinite and infinite, infinite sets, infinite sets, okay? I take the, oh, uh, you know, I write them together. I'm going to write them to, uh, together because, because, you know, through the definition, we can understand these both sets, to, uh, you know, these both uh, sets together, you know? We can understand it once. That's it. So finite and infinite. So finite is like, and you can even also guess it. Uh, you know, it, you can also guess this one too, like infinite, which are like infinite. You know, the sets which are the elements infinite. Yeah, it's it's like that. Or well, let me tell you in detail. Okay. So finite sets. So finite sets are those sets. I'm gonna write those sets. Those sets which, which, what should I write? Yeah, and. Uh, let me tell you, finite set is, a foot set is empty. We can also say them finite sets. We can say them. But, the, I'm going to write it like in another way. That's the main definition for finite sets. You know, uh, for finite and infinite sets, okay? Yeah, so just let me write it. So, I'm going to write the sets. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the sets which, which consist which consists what the definite the definite number of elements uh, you know those sets which consists which consists to, uh, which consists of a uh, definite number of elements okay let me write it so the set which consists of a definite definite number uh, wait a second yeah number of elements number of elements are called finite 
uh, finite, yeah, finite, finite sets, or, or, otherwise we'll say them, what we'll say them, infinite sets, otherwise, others, oh uh, yeah, so otherwise we'll call it, otherwise we'll call it, what, infinite, infinite sets, okay, Sets. You can write sets if you want, uh, but that doesn't matter. Yeah. So the sets which consists of a definite number of elements is called finite sets. Uh, otherwise, uh, we'll call it. You know, we'll call it infinite sets. Okay. Uh, let me just make it a little bit small. You know, I can even say it, but I'm gonna say otherwise it is infinite set. Otherwise, it. Oh uh, yeah. Otherwise, it is infinite sets. Or I'll just write infinite, okay? So otherwise, infinite. Otherwise, infinite sets, okay? Yeah, that's the smallest I thought that I should write. So yeah, you, you can even understand it and I can also even understand it. Okay, so now let's take an example. So it is talking about the sets which consists of a definite number of elements. Or uh, will be, or uh, will known as, or uh, so they're known as finite sets. And if if the sets, uh, the sets consist of, oh, uh, uh, you know, infinite number of elements, then we're just gonna call them infinite sets. That's it. So let's take an example. So for example, what should I take as an example? Um, maybe I should take a. Okay, I'm gonna take an easy one. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm gonna take the set, the set of, um, the set of all the natural numbers, the set of, oh, uh, wait a second. Yeah, the set of all the natural numbers, all the natural numbers. So all natural numbers will start from what? One, of course. So the set of all natural numbers, so set n is equals to the elements 1, 2, sorry, oh, 2 is in odd, it is even, so 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so on. So, so on, is the, this means that this is going to be infinite sets, okay? We can't write all of them because actually, oh, you know, numbers, numbers are like, natural numbers are like infinite, it will go to infinite, so we don't know where, where, it, uh, where it will end. So that's how we're gonna put uh, some dots, you know, so on, and just close the bracket, okay? Close the braces. That's it, what are we gonna do? So one, three, five, seven, nine, 11, and 15, and oh, you know, 13, and so on, okay. So this is gonna be what? Infinite sets. Now let's take an example of finite sets. Finite sets. Okay, uh, finite sets. So it's gonna be similar to this. So I'm gonna write the set the set of five, five odd natural numbers. The set of five odd natural numbers. So what we will write in them, it's so easy, easy to easy, okay? So what are we gonna write? So um, wait a second, please. You know, I'm just making more space. Ah, uh, whatever. Um, yeah, whatever it was, whatever it was, so the set of five odd natural numbers is going to be what? So it's talking about the five odd natural numbers, so we'll just write that the n set n is equals to one, the elements one, three, five, seven, and nine. That's it. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. So, and this is going to be what? This is going to be our infinite sets. Sorry, yeah, finite sets, okay? Is it clear? I think so it is. Yeah, so this is how we can say that which are going to be the infinite sets and which are going to be the finite sets. So we will study about uh, some more, you know, some other type of sets like equal sets, part sets, singleton sets, and uh, more, you know, a lot. But yeah, we'll just cover them, you know, we'll just discuss all those type of sets, you know, soon. We'll just cover them soon. So I think that's all for today. and. Uh, in the next video, I've just told you that we're going to do, you know, we're just going to continue 
uh, for the types of sets. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna continue in the types of sets. Okay. So um, thanks for watching and have a great day.